field recording. I love it. This is a rare treat. Today we're testing out a really fascinating type of microphone. It's called the electro -ushi, and they're a pair of passive electromagnetic sensors. So wicked. It's 851% nerdy stuff, and it's coming right up. So, good day and welcome to the Time Preservation Society. I'm Thomas Anderson, but you can call me Neo. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can be notified the minute new content drops. Cheers. As a field recordist and as a member of several online field recording social groups, I've known about LOM, LOM instruments for some time now. I've often attempted to get my hands on any of their products that are well-loved all over the world, but uh, I haven't been able to until now. So now my hands are all over LOM stuff. They usually sell out so fast. Their, uh, their products are so in demand because they're among the best in the world, which is why it's surprising that they're also very inexpensive as audio products go. They've become well sought after field recording staples, especially their more unusual microphones. They're also all handmade in small batches, and you all know what I think about small companies making handmade stuff. They're my favorite. So before I go into all the super nerdy stuff, I wanted to tell you a little bit about LOM. I'm saying LOM, but I want to say LOM. Um, I'm not sure. I'm just going to go with LOM, okay? All right. LOM is an instrument manufacturing company, an experimental music label, and a cultural space based in Bratislava, Slovakia. LOM was founded back in 2011, which was Captain America, The First Avenger, and Midnight in Paris ago. Experimental music and internet art were LOM's primary goals, but those goals became much broader and further reaching. In the early 2010s, LOM was making interesting microphones such as the Electro Sluches and the Ushis. By 2015, LOM moved into a larger space and began really going worldwide with their microphones. By 2017, they found their true home and began branching out with all kinds of innovative listening products such as the Ushi Pros, the Prezors, and the Geophones, uh, the Ukos, and more. Ushi, Uko, Sluch all mean ears, hearing, listen in Slovak. I love it. Now, fast forward all the way to 2023, which is where I am in time right now, even though you might be listening from the future. LOM is well known all over the world for premium, affordable field recording mics and sensors. I know I use the word premium like a commercial, but these things really are high end. I mean, if you have them, you know. Most microphones by high-end companies are unreasonably expensive, like sunglasses. There's just no reason for them to be that expensive. It's an outrage. Well-known high-end companies like Neumann charge ridiculous prices for their mics. Some of us in the audio industry call it Neumann tax. Anyway, these mics can compete with the best of them without the brand name tax. Now on to the Electro Ushis in particular. The Electro Ushis were released in 2016 and have been very popular ever since. So let's have a look at them. They come in this tinted Ziploc pouch with their logo and product designation on it. Stereophonic Electromagnetic Sensors. Inside we have a little sticker that looks like a hand drawing of puppets as the audio is being captured by a nearby recordist. <laughs> And the electro Ushis themselves, of course. They are two small sensors that look very much like small lav mics, but have no grills, just a flat metal plate in there. They're made out of good. But here's the wicked part. The frequency response is from 20 hertz to 90 plus kilohertz. That's crazy. We can do a lot with that information. 
The cables terminate in a single 3.5mm TRS connector that can be plugged into any recording device that accepts a 3.5mm connector. The entire stereo set weighs just 37 grams. They measure... Oh, hold on a second. Let me just find my trusty old measuring tape here. Oh, there we go. You know, this measuring tape was handmade by a security guard named Larry Daly. I picked it up at the Museum of Natural History back in 2006. Anyway. They measure about 12 millimeters wide at the sensor, and the cable is 1.5 meters long. Metric. So this has been all talky-talky with another mic, the 416. Now let's hear the Electro Ushis in action. I took the Electro Ushis out and tried them all over the place in my house. Let's watch and listen to what I got. So there you have it. What do you think? I think they're awesome. If you're a... If you're... If... If you're a field recordist like me, this is a must-have for your kit. So how much? You can have a set of the stereophonic electro ushis for only 30 euros. That's it. Converted to USD, that's about 32 US dollars. <laughs> that's it. You can grab a pair right now by going to https store.lom.audio. Check the description below to get the direct link for the Electro Ushis. I did have a chance to test out the Electro Ushis back in the early 1900s with Nikola Tesla. What a guy. <laughs> Bigger than life, you know what I mean? He had a 
Well, he had an electromagnetic personality, so I had to test it out and see. <laughs> what a great time. Anyway, within the next few videos, I'll be checking out the Loam Basic Ukos, so be sure to tune in for that one because that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, that'll just about do it for me. Oh, I don't know the future. I didn't come here to tell you how things are going to end. I came here to tell you how it's going to begin. Bye now. In transmission. Yes, that's very good. Oh no, no, yes, yes, good. Watch these ones, these ones here. Thank you. I like when you do that, it's fun. It's fun to click on them, give me likes and, and all the, those things. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>